Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great thirsty Thursday. It is the evening, which means that tomorrow is finally freaking Friday, and then Saturday, uh, we will be talking about playoff games. It's hard to believe that the NFL season is over. Um, but it is, and it is on to playoffs. The Cowboys have been back on the uh, football field and um, practicing. We've got good news, at least. Uh, Stephon Gilmore was limited in practice, but he was on the practice field. Uh, Tyler Smith was also on the practice field in full pads um, and so on. So it's looking like we'll have everybody on the field. Um, this is one of those things that I hate to, to report, but I have to report this. Um, a few hours ago, TMZ came up with a report about Michael Irving. Michael Irving, it was about 11 months ago at, in Arizona at the Super Bowl. There was allegations that were made about him. Um, we all know how that whole situation went. He was removed from ESPN coverage as well as NFL Network coverage and suspended for um, a long, long time, in which case he ended up having a $100 million defamation lawsuit where eventually it was all settled and he ended up getting his life back and has been back on um, now Fox as opposed to ESPN and back on the NFL Network. This is what the report from TMZ has a verbatim. Michael Irvin was recently accused of misconduct in Texas. Cops tell TMZ Sports they launched a criminal investigation into the Dallas Cowboys legend. A spokesperson for the Allen Police Department would not confirm details of the new probe into the Hall of Famer, but the rep said, did say, it's very early in the investigation. At this point, the spokesperson said, we aren't prepared to release any classifications regarding Mr. Irving. Levi McLaren, which is Michael Irving's attorney, you may remember him from the Marriott case, uh, said in a statement to Pro Football Talk, um, his client has done nothing wrong, um, or inappropriate. He added, it will turn out to be a much ado about nothing. This, of course, is not the first time in the last year the 58-year-old has been accused of misconduct. Back in February, a hotel employee in Arizona said Michael Irvin acted inappropriately um, when he um, encountered her while in town to cover the Super Bowl. Irvin was adamant that he did nothing wrong and filed a $100 million defamation suit and was settled roughly seven months after the allegations surfaced. Um, the playmaker has since made regular appearances on Fox FS1. He's part of the Skip Bayless show, of course, Undisputed, and NFL Network. So, you know, he's gotten his life back. And I hate to say, and we don't know. We don't know anything, and so it's hard to jump to conclusions. Uh, just remember, you are innocent until proven guilty, which was not the case the last time. And you can make allegations about anybody, which happens quite a bit. I don't know if Michael Irvin did anything or did not do anything. I would say let's let this whole thing play out and see where it goes. Um I think of Charles Barkley, how people knew that Charles Barkley had a temper and people would go at him trying to, of course, provoke him so that way they could get a reaction and then, of course, end up possibly having their five minutes of fame and getting paid. And this may be one of those cases that, you know, somebody looks and says, Michael Irvin, if I scream wolf, somebody will listen. I hate to say I hope that's the case. That I guess the best safe scenario is that somebody is making up allegations, I guess. Um, I certainly hope that he didn't do anything. All right, good people. I will talk to you soon. Peace.